Miss Pac-Man for the Atari 2600. Miss Pac-Man in the arcade is one of those games that's an instant classic in my book. It was a sequel to Pac-Man. It came out in 1982 or so. And it was developed by GCE, G GCC Corporation as a uh, modification to the original Pac-Man game. Uh, it's actually an incredible game. Uh, anytime I run across Miss Pac-Man machine in my travels, I'll usually play a game or two. Uh, I used to see this game all over the place. I still see it quite often in my travels. You know, I see them at Dave and & Buster's and, and some other places. And I'll, randomly I'll see them at a gas station every once in a while. Things like that. But it's actually a really great arcade game. One of the things I liked about it was the different mazes that you can navigate through. I always thought that was a, a great feature of Miss Pac-Man. And plus you have, you know, some really good gameplay as well. There's a lot of strategy involved trying to figure out what what uh, row to go down or hallway to go down. I'm terrible at playing Pac-Man games. I know there's patterns and stuff that you can learn to get higher scores, but I'm just bad at video games in general, so I don't really care. I just I just enjoy playing the, the playing the games. Uh, I'm not gonna break any high score competitions. <laughs> but anyway, Miss Pac-Man, such a great arcade game. Uh, I had a Miss Pac-Man in my collection, an arcade machine, uh, back in the late '90s, uh, where I was working at. Well, my current job I still work at. When I was based uh, up in uh, Danville, Illinois. There was this a bar we used to go eat lunch at every once in a while. And we went there this one day, and back behind the bar, there was a Miss Pac-Man machine. And it was next to the trash dumpster. And I asked, inquired, inquired inside, it's like, why is that in the, in the back of the trash dumpster? Said it doesn't really work anymore. They're just going to just get rid of it. They tried to sell it, and nobody wanted to buy it. So I said, well, can I have it? And I said, oh, yeah. So I loaded it up in my truck, and I took it home with me. And all that was wrong with it was it needed a couple transistors to get the the screen to show fully. The game would run. You could hear the game playing, and you see a, a horizontal bar. And you see all the characters moving around in this little horizontal bar. So I knew there was something wrong with the, uh, the uh, XY control of the yoke on the monitor. So troubleshot it, replaced the transistors, and bam, I got a Miss Pac-Man machine. This one was modified, though. It had the speed up hack where Miss Pac-Man would just fly around the screen. And I love that version of Miss Pac-Man. I do quite well with that one because she's so fast. It's actually a really fun version to play. But anyway, we're talking about the Atari 2600 version of Miss Pac-Man. This is the early release box. Uh, There's a later release that just had a red band, said Miss Pac-Man, kind of plain looking. I did have that in my collection, but I decided I wanted this instead. So I picked this this uh, up not too long ago. Really cool looking box. Has super arcade-like graphics. A little decal here on the front. I love the font they use. That's probably one of the reasons why I like this box. Because they used an arcade font on the front. Of course, in the back, you have four video game variations. Screenshot of the game. It's actually a really good looking game. It's it's much better than the Pac-Man that Atari did. Had Atari done Pac-Man like this Miss Pac-Man was done, where it had the four different colored ghosts and everything, it probably would have, it probably would have been a lot more uh, accepted. I still like the original Pac-Man on the 2600. You know, I still play it every once in a while to this day on my flashback portable. Uh, I've always enjoyed it. You know, my original Pac-Man was a was a present for my brother for my birthday back in the day. And I used to play the Living Daylights out of that game. But anyway, we're talking about Miss Pac-Man. So inside the box, of course, we have the cartridge. Now, the cartridge shows the other kind of label that this would have been. Just a red bar that says Miss Pac-Man. Nice full-color uh, silver label there. Really like that. And, of course, we have the instruction manual. And this is full color as well. The other one is like black and white. So I really wanted this version in my collection. So it goes through how to set up the game. Nice full color illustrations. 
shows uh, the different game variations that based on bears. You see little bears, little teddy bears up on the screen. One teddy bear is for one ghost that chases you. Two teddy bears, two ghosts. Three teddy bears, three ghosts. And of course you have four teddy bears, you have all four ghosts running around. If you really want to play this game for a really long time, put it on Teddy Bear 1. I could play this game for hours on that level. <laughs> That is definitely a willy level right there. I like the illustrations they have in here. Nice full color illustrations. We got the score table. So all the different fruits that you can pick up and their point and their point values. Pretty cool. I like this illustration of this ghost. That's pretty awesome. We have some hints for survival. Well, here's a hit. Put it on Teddy Bear 1. You'll play it for hours. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. I think it's time to pop this in the old Atari. Let's do some chomping. All right. I really dig this intro screen to Miss Pac-Man. It's pretty cool. I mean, I like in some of the later games Atari did, they put like little, little intro screens like this. It's pretty awesome. Anyway. So we're going to select the four ghost option so that would be the cherries so that's the arcade version and away we go the music sounds really cool it's actually a really good version of the game and I died already <laughs> the sound effects in this game. Alrighty. Let's see if I get these last uh, dots. Ah. Ah. Well, here we go. Excellent. Chop away. They look like wafers instead of dots, just like the original pack in the but at least we have four color ghosts. Oh yeah, chop, 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 chop. Uh oh, 1600. Yes! Maximum points. Oh, I should have done that. I like about this Pac-Man is the different screens. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> well, I got to the orange level. Let's go ahead and put it on the easier game here. We're not going to do one ghost. It's got to be kind of boring. Let's just do uh, let's do two ghosts. Just for the heck of it. This will at least get me through all all four screens. It should. 
case number two. Kissed. No. I can't believe I did that. This is a cool looking maze. I like the green. Now you notice that it doesn't really reflect the arcade mazes too much. But for what it is, it's actually pretty cool. Ooh, a banner. Slippery. Oh! Well, that was stupid. <laughs> anyway, that's Miss Pac Man. Another really great translation to the 2600 from the arcade uh, they did a really good job on this game i highly recommend giving it a try it's one of my go-to games my atari flashback portable that i carry with me very enjoyable game as always everyone thanks for watching don't you know